but it's based on why you get up every day to do the work that you do. It's about what you stand for. And it is what is going to emotionally connect you to the people that you're meant to serve. This is remarkably important. If you can identify why you do what you do, what you stand for, and you can turn that into a tagline, into something that represents you and the people that you serve, well, then you're in like Flynn. So my why I do it statement, the reason I do it, right, not my tagline, the reason I do it is because I want to help people think bigger about who they are and what they offer the world. That's why I get up to do this work every day. I could have chose to do almost anything. But I know that every day that's my driving force. And so I turn it into a tagline so that I'm the guy to call when you're tired of thinking small. Now, if you're someone who wants to think bigger about who you are and what you are for the world, you go, yeah, I'm in the right place. But if you're somebody who does not want to think bigger about who you are and what you are for the world, then you go somewhere else, right? Or if you think you already think as big as you possibly can, which I don't think is possible, then you'll go somewhere else. But this is directly related to your red velvet robe policy. All of your foundational elements are continuing to define, to clarify, to create space in your market so that your message can come through for the people you're meant to serve. Not kind of, sort of, supposed to, because they're the target market you've chosen, but meant to. Does that make sense? Yes. Say yes if it does. Yes. Do you think you could develop a who and do what statement? Yes. Do you think you could develop a why you do it statement? Yes. Good. Yes. Here's the thing, guys. It's got to be true. It's got to be true. It doesn't matter if it's similar to someone else. You know who Mark Victor Hansen is? Yeah. So Mark Victor Hansen is a great guy. And both of him and I contributed to a book a couple of years ago. And I was sent the book in advance, and I opened it up. And his chapter was first. And I said, oh, look, Mark Victor Hansen, I should read that. And it had his bio. And it said, the ambassador of big thinking. I'm like, hey, look, Mark stole my line. Of course, Mark did not steal my line. It doesn't matter. The point is, there's more than one people in the world who stand for what you stand for. And that's fantastic. It moves us out of the competitive mindset. If what you stand for is going to serve other people, you want more people doing it. You want a revolution of people standing for what you stand for. Amen? But it has to be true. So, those who steal taglines, and that happens all the time, right? It's probably not true for them, so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, I've seen people use it all the time, the guy to call when you're tired of thinking small. But if you're not the guy to, you, you don't, the guy to call when you're tired of thinking small does not steal taglines. <laughs> right? It just doesn't work. But I don't care. The point is, it doesn't have to be so unique. A lot of the marketing experts will talk about, it's got to be so unique. It's got to be unique selling proposition, et cetera, et cetera. You've heard this over and over, right? It's not about uniqueness. It's about resonance, truth, honesty, connection to the people that share that worldview. Does that make sense? Say yes if it does. Yes. 